YouTube, it is I, Hangman for Hire, also known as Soundbite. And on our last episode of Fallout Wanderers Edition, we finished clearing through Minefield, getting ourselves quite a handy set of loot, including this M10 SASS sniper rifle, and a ridiculous amount of frag mines. So, with that done, let's go ahead and talk to Moira Brown about collecting our reward and hopefully selling those frag mines for lots of ammunition. Alrighty then, here we go. Moira Brown. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? I got through Minefield Alive and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. Let's see. The whole place is a death trap. Perception. Watch the details and look for broken patterns. That's where the traps are. Agility. Fast hands and faster wits can get can get you an awful lot. Including landmines. <sighs> I'm gonna go with perception, just because it's fun. That's so true. I know you may not want to see any more exp and looking at this land. All right, so I got three frag grenades from that. That completes the first chapter's tasks, right? Correct, and it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. All right, I am ready to I am ready to start researching the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, <sighs> oh, that felt fireworks, good. and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Sorry about that, folks. I am drinking a Pepsi here, and it is delicious. Okay, um, let's see. Mole rats, mire lurks, or that. I'm going to hate myself for, for this, but what do you mean about handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. <laughs> but obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? That's kind of a sadistic way to look at it, but that's true. I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come here when I do. Wow. Okay, so now that that's done, um, let's go ahead and just start looking through uh, and selling stuff. So I don't need two of these, so let's go ahead and sell one of the two, two, three pistols. Ten millimeter, night, bread M9. I really don't need the Browning HP. Hmm. Wow, got a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, I wanted to sell the two cartons of cigarettes. Um, I'm kind of I kind of want to just keep everything else in here because most of it is actually pretty useful. Uh, miscellaneous. Um, Pre-war money. Let's go ahead and sell that. And that kind of about does it. So. I actually, now that I have enough money, I kind of wanted to buy the night vision goggles. I thought those could be really useful. Um, I really don't need the radiation dive suit. Um, but I think these night vision goggles would be pretty useful. So now that that's taken care of, um, I'm not going to need 36 frag mines. So let's, let's start off by selling 16 of them. Okay. Um, no, I'm going to keep those. Let's sell ten more. 
Okay, that's taken care of. Um, I can sell this because I've already read it. Let's see. Do I want to sell any of these weapons? Um, nah. Let's just go ahead and go with that. Good hunting. And see if she can repair any of my stuff. Um. Do I want to? Do I really want to repair the ten millimeter pistol? Let's see. Yeah, I really don't. I don't really think I need this ten millimeter pistol. I have the M9. Do I have any other guns using the ten millimeter rounds? Oh yeah, the MP5. At which point, I don't need the ten millimeter pistol. I just want to try to save on uh, weight when whenever I can. MP5. So, all together, these things weigh a total of, like, ten pounds. Let's sell three of the grenades. And, you know what, I think that should probably do it. So, actually, what ammunition does she have? Um, let's see. She doesn't have any 32 rounds. She doesn't have any 308 rounds for my sniper rifle. Um, I could get some more 10 millimeter rounds for my, uh, for my MP5, if I wanted. The 7.62 would be for an AK-47 if I had an AK, but sadly I don't. Um, how many 10 millimeter rounds do I have right now? Let's see. I can sell the energy cells, I'm not gonna be using those, I'm not gonna be using the microfusion cells. Um... Let's go ahead and buy these. Yeah, th th that's worth it. I can justify doing that. Good hunt. All right. So now that we got that taken care of, um, let's just go ahead and go back to the house. Actually, do I have any scrap metal I can sell to Walter? Uh, no. But let's just go ahead and head back to the house real quick to put away stuff that I don't need to carry around like right now. <sighs> Excuse me again, folks. <laughs> That Pepsi is so delicious, I can't stop drinking it. Hey, Wadsworth, do you have any more water Good for morning, me? Sir. Nope, not at the moment. Okay, so... Filing cabinet. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna put five of these away. And I don't, I don't need five frag mines. I'll just keep two on myself, so let's put away eight. Um... I'll keep those, and I'll put one away. Night vision goggles. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and put away the books that I can't read. Tumblers today. Um, let's see. Don't need those on me. Don't need the lawnmower blade. Don't need the pre-war books. Don't need the sensor module. Oh, wait. I only, I only need one medical brace. But I need the surgical supplies. Okay. So I'm at 127 right now. I can still cut down more, though. Wait, what am I... I don't even know what quest I'm doing! What quest am I doing? <laughs> um, receive a crippling injury. Well, something I want to check next is with these night vision goggles. Okay, see... So, whoa, okay, so night vision. Um, thermal vision. Inverted thermal vision. Oh no, this is a this is a different one. So I can use this to spot uh, machinery. That's pretty cool. That could be really useful. Yeah, these are. I'm definitely keeping these bad boys. Okay, which means if I'm using those, I'm not going to need the tortoiseshell glasses. Let's see. Pure fact water. Nuka-Cola. 
Um, okay. You know, I'm starting to wonder if I all if I if I want to constantly be carrying around a radiation suit though. I can't think of a situation where I'm going to directly need to be constantly carrying it. I think I'll have one, but I'm starting to think that just carrying it around is going to be a waste of weight. So let's go ahead and put that away for now. If you guys think I should take it back out, or if you guys think I should do something differently from what I'm doing, just feel to, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll take it into consideration, as I always do. So now that that's taken care of, I think we're ready. Um, let's see. Dog me, get out of the way! I love you, boy, but you gotta get out of my way. I think what I'm gonna do is, um... I'm gonna try to jump from a height and see if I can if I can try to just cripple my leg by doing that instead. So, let's go ahead and save. Save right here. See if I can just cripple myself from jumping from up here. Ow. Okay. Note to self. Don't jump that high. Okay, let's try it from like right here. Did I cripple a leg? Please tell me I crippled a leg. Oi! I did not cripple a leg yet. That's not what I need. I need to have a crippled leg. So, let's, uh, heal 40 health. Uh, da, da, da. This actually be a really good time to get rid of some of this stuff. Um... And save again, obviously, to be safe. Let's try. Let's try jumping again. Did that do it? Come on. No. Ugh. Let's keep trying. We need to get these legs crippled for the extra effects. Come on, legs. Why you no cripple? Why you no cripple? Crippled legs, I demand it. Actually, I got another idea. Maybe if I throw a grenade, um, without, hopefully I can throw it close enough to damage my legs, but not enough to kill myself. Okay, not close enough. Let's try that again. There we go! I am now crippled. Sorry, folks. One second. Hello? Yeah, one sec. Sorry about that, folks. Ho hopefully I should have edited that so you didn't have to hear it. But anyway, I went ahead and got my arm and leg crippled here, so now we can go talk to, uh... Talk to Moira. Saying, hey, I'm hurt. Fix me. <laughs> 